Hey guys, Amelia Adia here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a good topic for um, my ladies and probably my fellas too. It's a way to flip what I'm gonna say. Um, but I do get uh, a couple emails about, you know, how that, you know, they got to book two and they like, well, how did you get over the breakup? You know, I mean, like, how are you so well? And so, that is what we're going to talk about today. And I wanted to, as you see, I got a little red lipstick. I was just like, let me show my girls, okay, how it's time to get over this breakup like this. When I tell you like this, like yesterday I was thinking about you and today I'm not that easy. Oh. Now, before I get to the details, just understand that uh I do believe that you know you gonna need some type of uh spiritual believer you need to believe in God <laughs> in other words if you're an atheist honey again I said it in a couple of other videos I cannot speak on that because I prayed you know what I mean I'm not just saying I prayed that I woke up I feel better but I prayed through it and um Today, as I sit here, you know, I feel good. And don't get me wrong, I still have my moments where I'm like, that was a lot. But I ain't going back. You get what I'm saying? Like, it may have been crazy, but not enough for me to go back. So, um, number one, to get over this breakup, for one, is to... I don't know if I need to say that, but leave that person alone, block, delete, block on all social media, block the family, block, 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 block. That's number one. You gotta block them out your life because the more you sit there and have these pointless relationships with these people, it's just gonna bring back false hope. You know, this person has clearly showed you like, we done. You have clearly, you done. So be done. It's like people want to be halfway done. I'm going a, I'm to a break up with him, but I'm going to stay in contact with his family or her family. Because I love the mother. Listen, I love you from a distance, okay? I, I can't be talking to you every day. You willing me back because... A lot of times, sad to say, the mothers be in on it. The mothers be right in on it like, oh, I want you to be with my son. Because the son be like, mom, call her. Call her, talk to her, talk to her, talk to her. They be having a, a pack. You get what I'm saying? You looking crazy. That woman don't care about you. She don't care. <laughs> you know how many times I was in these relationships? I think even younger. And I'm just like, oh. The mother like me, so I'm in. Girl, the mother is playing with she 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 need you. Listen, the mother is playing with you, even though she a woman too. She she loves her son more. So if her son is hurting and her son is telling her that, you know, I still wanna, you know, whatever he's saying to her, she gonna play that role for her son. That woman didn't birth you. I know you used to see them shows where these, these sons would kill 10, 4 people. And the mother would still be up there like, he's a good boy. And I know my son. And you be looking like, miss, he killed 10 people. How, no, he ain't do it. They got all the evidence to prove he did it. He didn't mean it. Girl, those mamas be serious so don't sit around and think because you know you and the mama good that things are good if anything things are worse okay i mean i want to say my my i guess my last my ex or whatever um the mom wasn't so bad but she wasn't good either like she didn't correct her son when he was wrong. You know, like, in a mother's eyes, 
your son is always right. You know, like, let it be okay. It'll be okay. Girl, I'm hurting. What do you mean? Let it slide. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not going to make sense because, I mean, if you're a mother, you understand. But for me, I'm not a mother yet. So I don't understand how you can just let your son play around like that. But maybe it depends on the mother. I really can't speak too broad on that. But um, just let the family go. Okay? Block, you don't need no explanation. They, they don't even care. They just want whatever you're doing for them. They want you to keep doing that for them. Whatever it is. And I'm sure it's something. Let it go. You want to learn how to let things go? Watch the previous two videos now. Um, secondly, to really get over the breakup is, for me, I need a little bit of isolation. Like, I don't even want to cry to my friends. I don't even want to cry to my family. I just want to be left alone. Because you got to understand that everyone is going to ask the same question. What, who, what, where, when, how, how, blah, blah, blah. So now you got to tell that story about 20 times. So every time you turn, every time you tell that story, and then when you still, then when you rekindle with them, they still gonna ask you, but at least you'll be stronger. Like right now, when you first break up, you're a little weak. You're a little heartbroken. You're a little stumble and things like that. So you gotta, it's, it's easier to just block. Not block, but just, just block. Just give me some time. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me some time. And so that's going to just help you have some space to breathe. Because you're going to need some space to listen to your music. You're going to need some space to remind yourself who the hell you are. You know, you're going to need that alone time. So number three, I don't know if y'all writing these down. Get you some alone time. Take a weekend off to yourself. Me, I took about, I took about two weeks. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you can get over it a little bit faster, you know, if you really savage mode. But I think, like, now that I got, you know, once I got to the two weeks, what really helped me, which I wish I would have known two weeks sooner, that had me, like, really snapping out of the heartbreak, was... Do you know... Who I am. Okay, ask yourself. Like, look at the mirror. Like, look at look at yourself in the mirror. Sound conceited if you want to. You should sound conceited because, you know, you look good. But look at yourself and be like, do you know inside or out who I am? I am funny. I am organized. <laughs> I am goal-oriented. I am successful. I am on my way. I am on my journey. I have goals and aspirations. I have businesses. Whatever it is that you have, big or small, you have something. And although that that person, man, woman, whatever, didn't appreciate it, it doesn't take away from what you have. So when I say look at yourself and be like, bruh, what am I crying or dwelling over he wasn't even a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't even... Come on. You, you saw it about the videos. So, you sitting here depressed that, you know, maybe he didn't... Like, it's over. You depressed that it's over. And you should be celebrating that it's over. Because now that you let that dead weight go, boom. Now I can flourish. Now I can get. Now I can really get the man that was for me because I wasted enough time with somebody who wasn't for me that I was forcing and forcing and forcing. And listen, now that it's over, it's time to get going. And if you don't have all your goals met, now you gotta go meet those goals. Now you gotta go figure things out. Now you gotta go start your new life. So the best way to really get over it is to get moving. You got things to do. Okay, you got a therapy session to get to real quick to just let the rest of this out. Like, let me just book this therapy session or book this coaching session and let me get things in order. Okay, because if you're sitting here 
thinking about the garbage that you that left, you know, your trash. Okay, you know how they say one man's trash is another man's treasure. No, that was your trash. Okay, you were never trash. And now that you was able to take it out, it's time to get out and get going. You know, get, the, get this is the time to go get your get your nails done, get your hair done, get your makeup done, put on your favorite color lipstick, and get on out there and get you some hollers. I mean, don't go jump into another relationship. That's what you don't want to do. But go get a little bit of attention. Why not? You've been ignoring it for bozo. So it's time to fill yourself a little bit. Don't fill yourself too much. Now, don't think I'm saying go out there, party, drop it like it's hot. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying get cute, get it together, call your good friend, make sure they're positive. Go to a nice cute lounge, go to a nice brunch. Go to a nice event. I know it's COVID, COVID, Corona, or whatever you want to say it. But they still have it, mask events. Get you a nice, cute mask. Make sure your mask don't look like you've been wearing it since March. And get out. Okay? Don't be sitting there on social media. Okay? If you think you're about to get over it by sitting on social media... You gonna make yourself feel worse. Get off of social media because now you got all the pictures. And make sure you delete all his pictures. I would just de delete everything. Okay, hey, who cares? Delete it. It's going boop out my life. Boop boop boop. Unfollow. Block. Unfollow. Delete. And then delete the app. You don't have to delete your page, but just delete the app off your phone for a minute. You need a cleanse. You know what I mean? Like you need to get back to who you was before this man or woman came and ran up all, all over you for years. So, like, now that I'm, like, free, because that's how I feel. I feel, like, free. Like, girl, I look at this up. I be like, girl, what in the world? Who Who is this person? And then when you start dating again, stop caring. Like, I think we be worried, like, oh, is he going to like me? No, the question is, do I like him? He like you because he's sitting in your face. You know what I'm saying? But stop trying to be liked. Be you. Like, I mean, I'm not saying go fart and burp and, you know what I mean? Excuse me, have manners, but be yourself. If you goofy, be goofy. If you serious, be serious. I mean, you shouldn't be too serious. That's not fun. And, um, just go have a laugh. Okay? That's what you need to do. You need to laugh. Don't laugh like all wild and wild flawed open. Come on. Act like a lady. You still a lady. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like after the breakups, we become so hurt that we become more desperate than we were before. So now we in the club. Now we twerking. Now we texting them first. Now we doing everything that, come on. No, no. Go in there, put on your nice outfit, cover up. You don't need to be showing more skin, okay? The more sh skin, the more sin. <laughs> and guys be looking at that. Like guys, no, they get the women left and right, right and left. So, if you showing too much skin, they sitting there like, dang, he broke me. And they never take you serious, you know? But honestly, do at least, like, three to six months before you even think about doing something serious. You know, like, take it, take tea. Okay? I'm not sipping my tea today because my freaking blind spell and the dust got all in it. So, I was just like... I, I ain't trying to get no corona dust up in here. Up in my, I already got allergies. So, yeah, get you some tea. Um, change your playlist. Take off the city girls. Take off the party B. Save them for a little later on. Or oh, just take them off. But, you know, do something a little bit more relaxing. A little bit more calming. Just because 
you don't want to leave something toxic and then put more toxic in your body. You're trying to get all the toxins out and then refresh with just more relaxing music. And, and maybe the first day, listen to the heartbreak music and cry it out. Listen to, you know, my girl Keisha. I'd be like, girl, you, you be knowing the songs. You know, even back in the day songs, the Monica. I don't know who y'all listen to, but put on some R&B for the first day. And yes, let it out. You don't gotta act like you don't wanna cry, you know. And then after you that after I had listened to my sad music, I was laughing because my music was like changing as my feelings was getting better. Then I was switching up. I put on um, "Big Girls Don't Cry" by Fergie. Okay, cause I cried already. You gotta cry. You gotta let it out. Then I put on my "Big Girls Don't Cry." Okay, I was in there like, you right, girl. I'm talking to the music. Yeah, I ain't crying over this. Then I switch it up, then I put on a little reggae. Then I'm like, yeah, you forgot I got rhythm. You know what I mean? Like, I turn it up when I go out. You know, like, you bugging. You was trying to keep me from having fun. Keep me in the. I can't believe you had me trying to be chained down to the seat. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not saying go out every weekend and, and spend all your money. But have a, have some balance. You know what I mean? Like, I I did go out a lot, a lot when I was younger or whatever. And I did need to calm it down, but not shut it out. It was at a point where I wasn't even going out. I was just home. Like, only working. Only time I get makeup in here is when I'm working. And don't get me wrong, it's cool. But... If you're not a wife, I'm not about to be sitting at home so nobody can find me. I could be losing my husband because you got me sitting at home, locked in the walls, locked in the room, only working. Like, I'm not a slave. Got me so, uh, ladies, we be so sleep. We be so hypnotized. I, I, I usually call it Matas, you know what I mean? Because when you get in a, the nugget, <coughs> nugget ties, that's what we're going to call it <laughs> on YouTube. Nugget ties, because all you want is that dip, that sauce dip, baby. All you can think about is the next time you're going to get it. And even if we're not realizing it, like, you know, we're not saying it to ourselves, but when they don't come home, or they doing things that they don't want to do. That's us like wanting them back. Like, wait, why you keep... It's like, it's like a drug. Okay? But once you like cut the drug out, you know, you got to go through withdrawal. When you not getting him anymore, you going through withdrawal. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. So you got to let your body get through that. Like you got to really be strong like you gotta watch these videos twice like you gotta really focus your mind like you gotta really fight the urge you gotta like i just be like yo this is really real you know what i mean like these feelings i had for, for you were real and now that it's like now that i've realized that the relationship wasn't real you know that was like a snap to snap into reality so, ladies, it's time to snap into reality that, yes, it's going to hurt. Yes, you did waste some time. Yes, you had hope, you know, but yes, you will be okay. Okay? That's all I'm like. I, you know, it's, it's, really into the, it's really the music, too. Because the music you put on is going to shift your mood. So really pay attention to your music playlist. I don't know what number we on. But make sure you write, you got a nice, solid, you know, variety playlist. Because I'm telling you, when I was feeling like kind of, like one day I'm good and then one day I'm like, you know, like dang, I'm back to being single. You know, like I'm back to, back to the start. And then... That reggae came on, the old reggae that we, I used to party with before I met you, came on. I said, girl, cut it. 
it out. Like, wipe the little crocodile tears. Like, girl, what is you doing? Is you really sitting here sad about some boy? Okay, you made a mistake. You stayed here too long. So, like, I was just like, girl, get a grip. Like, I'm like, I'm in the mirror and I'm dancing to the song and I'm looking at myself and I'm just like, girl, he crazy. And I'm not going back. Unless he bring me a pony in the flesh, you can't get me to go back. You get what I'm saying? So if I ain't going back, I'm not about to be going crazy, sad and depressed. Nah, I'm going out. I'm going to make some new friends. I'm going to handle my business. I got things to do because this is what I was doing before you came and trembled all up on me. I was, I was getting mine and now I was trying to get you to catch up to me that I was still getting mine, but I you know, I played around a little bit. You get a little lazy with it. Now I'm up. I'm motivated. I'm focused. I'm grinding. And I'm not allowed to be grinding depressed. It's going to take some time, but I'm going to get some patience. I'm going to get some self-control. I'm going to get the right people in my circle. And I'm going to keep getting up every single day. Loving myself more than I did when I got up every day while I was with you. And that's what you got to do, ladies. You got to get up every single day with a post-it. The first thing you say, the first thing you say, the first thing you see, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be good. I have new things ahead of me. You need to have 10 post-its. Excuse me, Tim Reminders. I don't need a man. A man will find me and I'll get there when I get there. I'm like, so let me get this straight. This is what's going through my brain. I'm like, let me get this straight, Amelia. You left this man, right? He didn't come back for you because he didn't love you. And now you single, okay? And now you ready for another man? Now you hurting? So that you could go through that possibly again? You, no, it's too soon. You gotta heal, you know what I mean? You gotta keep uplifting yourself. You don't like, because then what happens, right? We have the little, like, guys that are trying to entertain us, but they really not giving us our all. But it feels good to have male attention. And, you know, the thought of being lonely, you're not going to be lonely forever. Like, girl, guys see you. But, you know, we just... We just want to love so bad. Like, we just got so much love in us that we want to share it so bad. We got so much compassion. We got so much nurturing in us. Our natural ability is that we just need to give it. You get what I'm saying? And I know it's hard. Trust me. I'll be struggling sometimes too. But, girl, relax. You don't need to... You need to relax. You need to... Go have fun. And go have fun does not mean sleeping with people. Go have fun means go have a laugh. Go have a joke. Go see a show. Go on a trip. Go to a beach. Like, get out the house. At least a couple days a week. You know what I'm saying? I mean, aside from work, if you go to... I, I work from home, so me, I got to like, all right, I'm not sitting in the house all day because if you just sit in the house and just cry, just sit in the house, it's going to make you more miserable. So you got to get out. And when you get out, don't be so standoffish. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes we just be so like hurt that we don't even want nobody to talk to us. No, let them guys, let them. they not, you can have a friend. You don't got to not talk to this man because... You know, he don't meet your standards or whatever it is. Okay. 
know that. Down to play what they play. You, cause that that man obviously said you didn't meet his standards. That's why he played you. Okay, don't play him, but keep it keep it real. You know, like I'm not even trying to date right now, but we could kick it. Not Netflix and chill. Nothing intimate. A lot of times we get all caught up because God is, is pushing intimate moments on us. Like, can we go somewhere where there's more than just me and you? And I don't want to go from my house to your house. I don't want to be inside. Okay? Rain, sleep, or snow. I I need to feel the, the breeze. If it's snowing, I need to be jet skiing. I don't even know if that's what it's called. But if, it, if it's really really cold, go where it's warm. Take a drive. You always could drive somewhere warm. Warmer. Okay? So, what I'm saying is, like, basically, the best way to get up this break, breakup is to work on you. Think about you. You were so busy thinking about this man that you didn't even think about you and who you are. Like, who are you? Who are you? Ask yourself, what is my purpose? I just, I'm just so relieved. I am so thankful. I can, I can't say it. I can shout to the top of my lungs every day. I am thankful that I, I have room to grow. Now that I've eliminated so much toxins, I just got so much room to grow. I'm, just, I'm scared of, of, of what I can do. Cause I, my ideas just be flowing. I just be, I be, I'm addicted. Now I'm addicted to books. I got a book for everything. Okay, this book is for this. I got a book in this room. I got a book there. I got posters there. This is every, everywhere is my office. Until I hit that billion, okay. Everywhere is an office. Everything is a is is work related. You know what I'm saying? So what you need to be doing is getting getting in the lab. Get a little cry out. And wear yourself out, honey, until you force to go to sleep. Because what happens if like you just waiting for the next day every day? You're not gonna be able to really get that rest. So you need to be working out. Oh, I don't know if I said that, girl. What I tell you, working out as many workout plans I think I tried while in a relationship. I have been on the best workout plan of my life. I have lost so much weight of my life, and I started when, girl. I, I be I be at Chick Fil A proudly. Three times a week. Um, but I'm, I'm working out. I got me a, a well, I've, I've already had a dog, so it makes it easier. But we go for hikes. We go for walks. He keeps me going. You know what I mean? I put my music on. I'm not thinking about nobody. A lot of times we be, you know, a little embarrassed to work out or run thinking we look crazy or go to the gym thinking about what somebody want to think. You know this, you know it get real when I get get this look. Listen, I say it out loud. I don't care what anyone thinks. No one opinion matters. No one. Seriously, I gotta. Work out the way you want me to work out. And if I don't, I look crazy. Okay. You think I'm crazy? Okay, good. Because I'm trying to get over my breakup. I am crazy. Okay. And let me tell you. I be working out hands. Arms, legs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I might even shout out loud with a good song. I'm like, whoa. Whatever the words is. Shouting. Because, listen, I'm not hurting no one. I am entertaining myself. And this is what it looks like. And if you have a problem, you could turn around and look left. Because I ain't even looking at you. I don't even look at them. I just be like this. And ever since I, that fear left me about how someone would look at me as I'm trying to work out, girl, I lost weight like this. They be like, what in the hell? What you do to your face? Work out. Okay. <laughs> it worked out. So you want to need to be working out. That's gonna be number one. 
I'm sure the six pack might be a little boop, boop, boop. Definitely, if he was in a relationship for a while, mom was non existent. Tummy was just big. I'm just like, bruh, when did I even get this weight? I'm looking at my pictures from before now. My face was so fat and I didn't even know. And I was like, yo, we look crazy in them toxic relationships. And we leave them and we still heartbroken knowing they was toxic. How? Get my soul. I don't understand it. All I know is I'm glad it's over. Because when you really think like a year from now, I'm so excited about how things will be for me a year from now. Now that I don't have any toxicity. I don't know if that's a word. I've been using it. You know, I'm getting closer to God. I'm getting closer to the loved ones that appreciate me. I'm work, focusing on my business, focusing on work, focusing on whatever it is I need to be focusing on, you know, focusing on my skin regimen, focusing on growing my hair naturally, you know what I'm saying? So in a year, all this work that I'm putting in for my skin and my hair, they're going to be like, who is this woman? They're going to be like, Illuminati. No, honey, a Illuminati. <laughs> that is wrong. But I, I lost a, 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 a naughty boy that was holding me back. That's what they doing. They don't even know it. Maybe they do because they just hate you. But when you in that type of relationship and you, and you go back, you holding yourself back from what you could be doing in every aspect of life. So, when you let this relationship go and you take off, don't scoot back. You can't go. It's like, it's like when you go down the slide. Once you go down, once you get on that escalator going down, don't try to turn around and run back up because you're going to look crazy running up a down escalator. You don't believe me? Try it. I did it one time. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, this is the wrong floor. Son, I tried to turn back, girl. I fell out that whole right, right ain't you know. I fell out that whole flight of escalator steps. I look crazy. So I know if I try to go back to something that ain't meant for, after I'm already going down, I'm gonna just go down. Stop trying to fight it. We be trying to fight it, and it's not worth it. It's not meant to be. What is meant to be shall be. And what is not meant to be, won't be. And that's just that. And it's funny because I was speaking to this guy today. And he was like the what if queen. He, he was a guy, but he was just a what if queen. Because like every si situation, you like, what is a what if, what if, what if, what if. Listen, bruh. I have to tell him, like, look, I got a headache. There is an exception to the rule. There's always an exception to the rule. But I'm not going to live my life trying to be that exception to the rule. I feel like everyone wants to be the devil's advocate. No. That's a headache. I got a headache listening to that. I got a friend. He had a friend for every situation. I said, okay, friends. Like, I was just like, what in the world is going through people's minds? Like, what are you trying to prove it to who? That there's not a God? Okay. But don't go recruiting people if that's what you believe. But it's something. We ain't just show up. So, listen. Stay away from the devil advocate. Let, let things flow. Tony Braxton, let it flow. Anytime I'm trying to force something, I'll put that song on. Find a song. Okay? Because you got to just... I hear it in my head. I don't want to sing it because, you know, you too mean. But it just makes me calm down. Like, we got to learn how to calm ourselves down. You know? It's not ADHD or whatever disorders they have. It's just a... It's just the, the heart is just ready. 
But the mind, the soul needs to be balanced. And if the soul and the mind ain't ready, you got to calm the heart down so that you can have some, you know what I'm saying? So, ladies, gentlemen, clean it up, all right? Clean it all up. Clean out the closet. Clean out the trunk. Clean out the glove compartment. Okay? Clean out the social media. Okay? Clean it up. Clean up the contact list. Okay? Clean up the goals list. The list go on. Clean out the pantry. Clean out the fridge. <laughs> Clean it up. And as you're doing it, put on that music. Okay? And let it go. Block. Block, block. Block, 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 block. If they call you from another number, block it too. Because I only can look ahead at this point. There's no looking back. There's no going up the down escalator. It's not. And it's time to grow. Things you need to be doing, growing. Write these down. Healing. Write these down. Working out. Writing a book. Reading my book. Um, listening to podcasts. Listening to goal-oriented people. Tyler Perry. People that keep getting overlooked. Go back. Go back into your, your playlist from when you was happy and not heartbroken. Go back into that list. Go adopt a dog. I know dogs get expensive. Go adopt one. Who cares if he would, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'd be like, oh, he's not the breed. Okay, and neither are you. People be having some nerve. Therapy. Write that down. Or a video a day. Something. You need something to get your mind together. Your mind is like, all over the place, like shh, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta like put the pieces back together. You gotta mold, mold it back together, okay? So that you could be together and now you could be more prepared for when the husband or the wife comes. Now I'm ready, okay? And ready doesn't mean I done, you know, built the billion dollar business, no. Your things are in order and your things are aligned. Your, your seeds have been planted pat it and they ready to grow okay so again guys amelia adair here if you guys have any questions don't be afraid to shoot me an email and i hope to see you guys i hope this video really helps bring some healing to your heart and i hope to also see you guys at my next video have a good day see you guys soon